Black Inventors Challenge, person one, Lonnie Johnson, the inventor of the super soaker and the Nerf gun. The thing I like about this story is that the super soaker was invented accidentally. Lonnie Johnson was working on another project for NASA because he was a NASA scientist. And so while working on the project, a pump accidentally shot water across the room and he thought to himself, that would make a really cool water gun. The other thing I like is that for the Nerf gun, he actually made the first prototype when he was a child because when he was little, he was, he was always creating toys and he had a China berry gun that he created out of a mop and a hollowed out bamboo stick. So parents out there, please encourage your children to innovate if they're always creating new things, tinkering, encourage them and give them the space. The other thing I like is he graduated from Tuskegee University, HBCU. Inventors Challenge, person two, Valerie Thomas, the inventor of the illusion transmitter, which is used in 3D technology. The thing that I like about Valerie Thomas's story is she did not let gender stop her. She was born in 1943, and there wasn't much advanced math and science courses offered to her in high school at her all girls school. In college, she went to Morgan State University, HBCU, and she majored in physics. She was one of two women to major in physics, and eventually she worked at NASA. At NASA, as a scientist, is when she created the illusion transmitter. So that projects images from space to Earth, and that technology is still used today. People are trying to figure out ways to use it in television as well. So please don't ever tell a girl they can't. Let's open up the doors for all genders in STEM. Black Inventors Challenge, person three, Marie Van Britten Brown. She invented the home security system and she's also credited with inventing the closed circuit television. Marie Van Britten Brown was a nurse. She lived in Queens and she worked late all kinds of hours, and her husband was an electrician, and he's credited with contributing to the invention as well. So he worked late hours, just different schedule every day. She didn't feel safe. Also her neighborhood, where she lived in Queens, the police would respond late or not at all if you had an emergency phone call. If you remember that song, Narmon was, was a joke in your town, it was the truth. So they decided to do something about it. They do say necessity is the mother of invention. 